I'm working on the commercial 12 today. Um, what I was working on is the, the fuel system really. It was kind of leaky to say the least. Um, the pet cock on the on the tank was leaky and this old steel line was uh, rusted. It was soft and leaky. So it just, uh, I mean this thing wouldn't hold a tank of gas to save its life. Um, so I took the tank out and I started running new lines. I put a new uh, brass fitting in the fuel pump there so I could run just a rubber line. Uh, so I'm going to run a quarter inch rubber fuel line up to the tank. I got uh, an inline filter, a new petcock for the tank and stuff. And uh, but When I took the tank off, which end is it? There it is. Found a little rust hole in the bottom of the tank. So unfortunately I got to take that in and uh, get that fixed up before I can put this back together. Um, hopefully I can do that in the next day or two. I got my my big old uh, channel locks here. I'm gonna try to try to get this muffler off. I need to change that too. Uh, but that's just uh, what I've been up to. Um, I'll probably show you what I do to fix this tank here. All right, I finally got myself into uh, into the shop here to fix this tank here for my commercial 12. As you can see, there's another little hole next to it. Um, you know, I thought I'd just show you real quick what I'm gonna do to fix this rust hole. Um, now this thing was rusting from the inside out, evidently this sat around, uh, got water in the tank and it made a little rust patch in the bottom of the tank. Um, but now right here when you get these rust holes, that's just where it came through the metal. So if you remember, or think about the way water sits, you've got a, quite a patch inside this tank here with rust on it that you can't see from the outside. So this, you know, this whole area is probably a lot thinner than what it's supposed to be. So what I'm going to do when I weld this is I'm going to shoot my wire in from the side and, and try to hit the edge of these holes. Um, and basically I want to purposely create a uh, chase in the hole scenario kind of thing and, and basically chase these holes back to where the metal's uh, thick enough to support the weld. Um, so that's how I'm going to fill these holes. But I think what I'm going to do is fill these holes and I'm going to grind them down nice and smooth. And I'm just going to preemptively kind of patch this area anyway. Alright, here we are. We're all welded up. Um, and I got this tank is not leaking anymore on its own. As you can see, I chased the holes around quite a bit. I mean, that all that metal was pretty soft in there. Uh, that's why I'm going ahead and making my patch. Um, but I wanted to show you this. Now, you can see, look around here, uh, we're a little empty, but I do work in a body shop. Um, so this brown on here is a, uh, it's a nice quality automotive grade uh, weld through primer. And I wanted to make sure that when I weld this patch on, that the welds are perfect now, because the tank doesn't leak, so I'm not going to be able to water test the uh, welds around this patch. Um, so I'm taking every precaution to make sure I can get perfect welds on this. So I, I ground this patch and the tank is crystal clean as I could. And I put a nice quality weld through primer on the inside of this and on that. So I'm going to weld this up and uh, hopefully I won't have any, any leaks in that because if this, if this does start to leak down the road then my patch is like kind of my last defense. So hopefully I'll get a really nice good clean weld all the way around it and uh, we'll be leak free for a long time alright there's the the patch I put on I got a pretty good weld all the way around it um, now as you guys can clearly see I'm not really concerned about the appearance of this I'm not going for uh, restoration I'm going for functionality here I just want my tank to stop leaking all right there it is uh, it's all welded up I decided to go ahead and spray bomb the whole thing black it was turning out to be a two-tone thing that looked stupid but there's my patch like I said I wasn't going for looks just trying to get it sealed up so that's gonna be plenty good enough to hold gas um, but yeah I just spray bombed this with some black battle cans probably the first time I spill gas on it it'll wipe right off but <laughs> you know whatever 
So it's uh, welded up, it'll hold gas, and that's really what I was trying to do. All right, here's the last step I'm taking to clean up this tank. Um, I'm trying to clean the rust out of the inside uh, through electrolysis. You can see I got my battery charger hooked up. What I did is I, I mixed up my fluid, and I just filled the tank with it. Um, so down here I have the tank itself is grounded and I have this piece of rebar on top that's uh, positive acting as my sacrificial anode. Um, you can see there's duct tape right here on the on the edge of it by the mouth of the tank and there's also duct tape down on the very bottom of the rebar so it's not grounding out to the tank it's uh, you know a separate circuit here. But I've only had this hooked up for just a couple minutes and uh, I think you can see the orange, but the, the water in there is already picking up a really bright orange, rusty color. So it's pulling the rust off the tank already. Um, maybe I'll let this go for a few hours and then come back out and we'll clean it out and check on it. If I have to, I'll go a little bit more, but this should work really nice and get all that rust out of there for me. Alright, I've had the tank has uh, been out here on charge for about 24 hours and uh, it come out really looking really good inside there. Um, you can see my rod here. This side was down in the water. Um, and you can see how this side just wants to really pick up the rust that comes off of this tank. Um, and even that, you can see just how orange the water is that came out of it. So it really does a good job of taking the rust out of the tank. Um, and that looks really good in there. I, I mean, you're not going to be able to see it with this camera, but it's nice and clean inside the tank now so I guess I'm gonna clean this out with some old gas that I got around. Yeah, there we go that's the tank I'll put back in the tractor it's full of gas um, no leaks so that's good um, and I went brand new a new pet cock new rubber hose all the way down new uh, inline filter there um, and I put a couple brass fittings in the fuel pump just to change the angle uh, of the inlet so I didn't have to bend the hose a lot but there it goes, right into the fuel pump. So that's all brand new, no more gas leaks, which is nice. That's why I wasn't using it. Um, so this frees up this machine. I can do some brush hogging around the pond. Uh, it needs it pretty bad. Uh, you can see I got a brand new muffler, so it sounds pretty good. I put a new filter and pre-filter there in the air cleaner. Um, see if it'll start up here. Well, there you go. As you can hear, it it runs pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with this machine. Um, and the other thing you can see, this handle here wasn't wasn't uh, jumping back, uh, jumping forward on me like it was in my last video. I had to uh, adjust that back. So I'm just sitting here at idle. This would flop forward, and the machine would try to walk off on me. So I fixed that too. Uh, but there it is. It's running. It's running good. Now I can uh, use it. Um, it's it still needs a few things, but I can tinker with it in between here and there while I'm still using it. So. Uh, there it is, the gas tank's all fixed, no leaks, it runs good. Alright, thanks for watching.